Hi, my name is Scott Phillips. I'm the president and founder of Starfish Medical. Over the entire 20 years of our history, we've had a manufacturing solution attached to our design service. And the reason we do that is simple. It's really important that when you launch a new product, that you have a tight integration between the development side and the manufacturing side because they need it. For one thing, the volumes will be going up and down. Uh, for another thing, the uh, product will evolve. There's no doubt you will get feedback from the market, we've observed, which then requires the engineers to be around to support that. And wouldn't it make you feel comfortable if the company you're working with actually loved that kind of work rather than tolerated it? So that's what we'd like to talk to you about today. And you'll hear from experts on our supply chain group and from our production group talking about how do we make that journey as smooth as possible for you. My name is Catherine Young. I'm the purchasing manager here at Starfish Medical. I lead a team of seven people, including our shipping receiving, inventory controls, and our purchasing staff. My make or break question when it comes to interviewing for buyers for my team is what do you want to be when you grow up? You know, uh, the creativity around the answers to that question uh, can be very, very interesting. And it tells me if they can think outside the box. Uh, because purchasing isn't just ticking off the boxes, it is actually finding ways to get around the barriers that we face on a daily basis around cost, quality, and lead time. I'm Nick Oldford, the production manager here at Starfish Medical. Well, the difference between low volume, high complexity, and high volume, low complexity is the uh, level of skill that is required for your assembly technicians. The level of detail that are required in your assembly work instructions where you get into even low complexity, you need to have very clear step-by-step -step assembly instructions so you're able to send your product into a, an offshore manufacturer that can easily and repeatedly put these devices together. When you have a high complexity device, it may be more difficult to write those in step-by-step -step, and you may need to have somebody that can interpret a um, assembly drawing and build and test devices out of the assembly drawings and schematics. Hi, I'm Dana Trossel. I'm the NPI team lead here at Starfish. Getting to market is the goal of almost all devices that we work on here. And the choice of whether to launch early or whether to develop the product further is a difficult choice. There are many different uh, questions that can arise with making that decision of going early or not. Hi, I'm Jason Dolly, the director of manufacturing here at Starfish Medical. One of the devices that we manufacture was showing some field failures uh, intermittently. H hard to recreate in the field. We were able to find a way here to, uh, to recreate some of them and some of the component failures and some of the components not registering where they should. And, and having the design team uh, so close to uh, integrated with the manufacturing group, we were able to, um, to contain the issues and uh, be able to come up with some elegant solutions uh, that we were able to closely test and monitor and verify with the design team. Uh, and uh, we're able to uh, very quickly uh, deploy a, uh, a fix out in the field. Uh, one important detail to keep in mind uh, when you're pushing your device through your final verification and regulatory approval is that you want to ensure that your cosmetic fit and finish is in line with your end user's expectations. This is one detail that can easily be overlooked when you're trying to work through the last of your regulatory hurdles and device verification, uh, but becomes very apparent at the time of your first five or 10 sales into the, into the market and you get your first bit of user feedback on uh, requests for finer, or requests for better service finish, um, fit and feel. So for supply chain, when it comes to new product introduction, the best thing for us is planning as much as we can. And, uh, and uh, you know, so this is where this triad of cost, quality, and service comes in. Uh, because if we don't have the planning end of it, we're gonna be fighting one of those items, right? We're, we're gonna try and get things in through the door as quickly as possible. It might not be the highest quality. Uh, we might be spending time on overhead. So if, we, if supply chain is involved much sooner in the process, uh, especially when it comes to design or planning that transfer into uh, manufacturing, we can certainly get a lot of those things tucked away. So we, we, we've had the supplier selected, we've got all the agreements in place, we understand the lead times, and that when it comes time to pull the trigger, we can do it like that. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed 
learning from our experts. If you need any follow-up information, we'll be happy to support you, or you can look on our website. There's plenty of blog content uh, on these topics for you to, to round out your knowledge. Thanks again.